this side and we have this hose that goes back into here this is where we're going to fill the radiator a lot of mistakes that happen with these is people will go and fill the overflow tank and that's it and if you do that it will not fill the radiator entirely so uh, we're going to use a hose here and fill the majority of the radiator here until it's about to overflow then we're going to pour coolant into this hose so it goes back into the engine and then uh, we're going to just try to get as much coolant in here as we can because you don't want uh, air in the system so what i've done here is i've attached this part of the hose and i came over here where it goes into the water pump and i took it off so now i can hold this up and pour the coolant directly into this to fill the radiator. Once that's pretty much full, um, I'll probably just take it off over here again, reattach this side, and pour the coolant in that way so that I have this level full and this level full, and then I'll just put the hose back on. Sure, it's probably a good idea to have this cap released as well. You want to make sure that there's enough fluid in here that it's not sucking air back into that system either. So I am now filling the radiator since this hose is connected back up to the radiator side. Okay, now that I feel that it's in the hose, so without making a huge mess here, I'll be able to put this back onto the water pump. Okay. Now I'll take it back off over on this side and fill it here. Now the high point is how it will siphon back down, so you want to you want this to be the highest point when you're adding fluid. And I'm sure once you get it too full, it might start coming out of this overflow. Once again, be careful because eventually it'll come back out of where this hose connects as the system's full. I'm out of coolant and we're pretty close and this is distilled water, so this is okay. It won't cause any rust. So we're pretty, that's about as full as I can get it right now. I'm going to put the clamp back on. Okay, so our system is pretty much full now. So once again, I want to emphasize, you want to have that hose connected to the radiator and fill the radiator and keep that hose high up in the air. And you will see coolant start to come out of the water pump uh, when it's completely full. So then put the hose on the water pump, take it back off of the radiator and fill it again until it starts overflowing out of the radiator and then hurry and put that hose on as fast as you can. Make sure that there's coolant in the expansion tank as well and that's how easy it is and uh, I haven't had any problems since. Thanks for watching and uh, let me know if you have any questions.